Does your brain ever feel like there's 20 tabs open at once? You try to focus on one thing, but you are constantly pulled in different directions? For many people, this is not just a feeling. It is the daily reality of ADHD. Let's break it down what, what it is not and what actually helps, all based on research. What is ADHD or Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder? ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder. That means it is a difference in brain development that affects your executive functions. These are the skills that manage focus, impulse control, organization, and emotional regulation. Now, let's be very clear about what ADHD is not. It's not laziness. It's not a character flaw. It's not a lack of willpower or a choice. In fact, many people with ADHD can hyper-focus on things they find deeply interesting, which is why it is so misunderstood. It's not a deficit of attention. It is a problem regulating it. So how is it officially diagnosed? Professionals use the DSM-5, which stands for the Diagnostic and the Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. It is the official handbook that mental health professionals use to define and diagnose conditions. According to the DSM-5 criteria, we look for persistent pattern of significant inattention, hyperactivity, and or impulsivity. These symptoms must be present in two or more settings, like at home, at school, or at work. And several of them must have been present before age 12. Current research shows ADHD effect is about 5-8% to 8 of children but it does not just disappear. At least 60% of those children carry symptoms into adulthood, affecting millions of adults who are often undiagnosed. The good news is ADHD is highly manageable. Evidence-based treatment options usually involve a multi-step approach. First, medication, stimulant, or non-stimulant medications can be highly effective. Second, psychotherapy, especially cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, to help build coping strategies and Third, skills training, learning practical organization and time management skills. So what are the best interventions that you can try? Structure is your friend. Use calendars, timers, and lists. Break it down. A big project is overwhelming. Break it into five small, clearer steps. Move your body. Exercise is one of the most effective non-medical tools for managing ADHD symptoms. And mind your, your environment. Minimize distractions. Create a clean, quiet workspace if you need to focus. ADHD is a real neurobiological condition, and it's not a life sentence. With the right understanding and tools, you can absolutely thrive. This was just a very quick overview. If you want more clear research-based insights on mental health topics, just like this, subscribe to the channel, and I thank you for watching my videos. Thanks so much.